So right now we have Micah and Maddie and Mazzarello outside of the cave-in um, that has just happened. You've all managed to narrowly dodge out of the way of these rocks falling. And Mwanza is nowhere to be found. Neither is Grimbeard. Um, and also, I just want to make sure. I don't think, yeah. So I have to fix some stuff on the back end, but um, that's fine, world. You you scratch away. <laughs> All right. So I'll leave it to you guys. Um, I'm gonna move over to our scene, and uh, and you can do your thing. Uh, how do we 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 need to help him? So the ghosts uh. aren't chasing them no more. Are, yeah. Uh, there are no ghosts as of right now. Okay. Can I mold earth to get the rubble off of Wanza? Go ahead and uh, roll that. Just roll a um, just roll a d twenty and tell me what you get. All right. Can I? I don't know. I have nothing to help her with. <laughs> um, now, how much can you move with mold earth specifically? Does it have like an amount? Five square. Five square feet. Well, I'm a double shack. All right. Um, choose a portion of dirt or stone that you can see within range. Then that fits within a five foot cube. Okay. Uh, if you, if it's loose earth, I can excavate it and move it up to five feet away. Okay. So you start going through and removing a lot of this gravel and rock fall that's come down. Um, and you end up, it takes you a long time. It's going to take you probably, because there's a lot of rocks that's, that have caved in here. It's probably going to take you a couple of hours to dig down to where Mwanza was. So, assuming that you're going to keep going with that, what is everyone else doing? Uh, Micah and Mozzarella, what are you guys doing at the same time? Uh, I mean, I feel like maybe I could use the spider staff, the little spider guy on it, to weave through the rocks to see if I can find Monza to oh. give... Um, to give... Uh, uh, Maddie, sorry, like an idea of where to focus her efforts. All right, make an investigation check. Okay. Um, oh, good. And if I, you weren't already, uh, sorry, go ahead. You're fine. I'm just going to sit on the side and console Rave after his terrifying okay. escape. <laughs> um, note that we did determine that. Uh, your glow buns are Neopets last night. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. So, Neopets. I was going to say you have advantage on this roll, but we'll say your next roll, Cheese, because um, you already have your birthday inspiration, so it's both Powder Hero and Cheese have three inspiration points for their birthdays. Uh, so happy birthday, guys, again. Thank you. Um, Thanks. But since three Yo. is the cap, I... I Wanted, I, I thought that was creative. I was going to give you one, but you don't really need the, the inspiration. So I'll let you use it on the next roll. Um, so you go through as the spider and you are able to locate Wanza. Um, and he's about like midway through this rubble on kind of the like the left hand side. You have a, a basic idea of where to look from, you know, where the last place you saw him was. Um, so you are able to help Maddie direct her efforts into digging into this thing and finding where Mwanza is. Um, at the same time, Micah, you hear this like from behind you as, as the digging is going on. So I'm not sure if you guys are paying enough attention, but you can roll if you would like uh, as a perception roll to see if you notice this. Um, so Maddie and, and Mazzarello, if you'd like to roll. Let me know. Okay. I mean, you don't have to roll. I but. have already noticed it, right? <laughs> you you automatically notice this, yeah. Um, okay. yeah, I'll roll. Okay. Um, I feel like wouldn't I be like 
my eyes are the spider's eyes, so I'm probably like not conscious you, in my brain. You can still hear through your own ears, but you see through the spider. All right, I'll roll. Um. All right. I, yeah. Okay. So Maddie is not going to notice this because you're too busy digging uh, and trying to find Wanza and listening for directions. Mozzarello, you're actually going to hear this, though. To, uh, so, yeah, oh my scenario, you can watch it later. Yeah. Darth, do you remember my cursed way to say turn notifications on? Do you think it's appropriate to say it here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I say go for it, cheese. <laughs> all right. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And so that you make sure you get the notifications, I need you to diddle the dingler. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And we just got demonetized. <laughs> YouTube's like, hey. YouTube and Twitch, like, why aren't you on kick? <laughs> this is peak uh, kick content. I also hope that on Twitch right now, the only thing that came through all of that was just diddle the dingler. Oh man. <laughs> the dingler. Oof. Yeah, we're chilling at like zero kill bit per second upload right now. Oh, it dingled the diddler, I think. <laughs> yes. Dingler the diggler. Dingle the the diggler. Oh, no. Biggest lag ever. Did you get banned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You diddle the dingler because the bell dingles and you just diddle it. Diddle diddle. Uh. That. I mean, none of those words are specifically bad. I can't see why we would get banned for that. No, I don't think we would. I'm I'm ready. We're back. Okay, so so um, Micah, behind you, you hear this, and then all of a sudden you hear, um, wow, boss is really happy with what you've been doing. Uh, uh, good, I guess. Yeah. Uh. I don't think we've ever had anyone send that many to us in uh, in that short of a time in like ever. Uh, what can I say? I'm an overachiever. Um, and the only one, the only other person who would notice this is Mozzarella. By the way, Matilda is busy um, digging. <laughs> I imagine and, she's like crying while digging. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm like. Down there. I'm still spider eyes, spider vision, and I don't want to stop spider vision because I'm trying to, like, help Maddie find uh, Monza. Right. But I'm hearing this, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this fucking information. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, in, it's going to walk around you, Micah, too. And it's, it's your little imp friend, of course. Um, and it says... Well, either way, boss gave me another one of these for you. And he goes to, to hand you another red coin. All right, I'm going to take the coin and stick it in my pocket and say thank you. Man, not a problem. So, uh... You know, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh... I, uh... I can't see what's happening, Micah, but... We're good. I got questions for later. <laughs> it's, it's it's fine, Mozzarella. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. Okay. <laughs> so could this so what's maybe going on over here? What's what's with this? Uh, so one of our friends was uh stuck under the rocks when they fell. Wow, oh, jeez. Well, that's terrible. Oh well. Uh, <clears throat> you know, kind of weird though. Uh. He, he must be alive, right? Why, why is she crying? We don't know if he's alive, and I think she's just very worried, and she's a big crier. Can my spider vision tell if he's alive or not? Like, can I tell? No, I you can't. I can't tell? Okay. No. Uh, but he's going to say, well, uh, <clears throat> you know, I do happen to work for the Harvester Souls here, and uh, it doesn't seem like... We had any of uh, your friend come through here. It's mostly just been these dead dwarf things. So, uh, you know. So it's, it's looking good. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. I, you, you probably tell that one to stop crying so much. It's a little ridiculous. 
I've been oh, hearing rock down all of this. And I spin. <laughs> yes. uh, we <laughs> just lost stream. Yeah. Yep. It reconnected. <laughs> Should be good now. Yo, I'm gonna throw a rock we did not down. lose it on YouTube, actually. That's that's the good news. <laughs> Because I heard you just say we lost stream on YouTube. <laughs> Let's just keep going with it, and then we'll we're gonna upload the vod. Yeah, that's a okay. good plan. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, turn to everybody else and just yell at them to keep digging. I think he's still alive. And you're gonna throw a rock down, Maddie? I'm throwing a rock down and asks who's telling me to stop crying, <laughs> like frustratedly. <laughs> Oh, it, uh, you seemed a little busy. I didn't want to bother you. Sorry. Do you want to come dig? Our friend's down there, and you're just standing here talking about me. I'm not, well, I didn't want to bother you. You seemed busy. You're all worried I about your your busy. friend under some rocks who for some you? reason. Who are you? Oh. Uh, who am I? I never had anyone ask me that before. Name's, uh, Tick Tick. And he... Reaches his hand out to shake your hand. No, 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 sorry. You seem a little busy. And then he just goes and like sits down on one of the rocks and starts watching you. Uh, uh, I, just, I just don't want to keep digging. It, it's fine. It's fine. Don't. I don't want to pull away. I want to keep my eyes on Wanza, but <laughs> what the sh what is happening? Well, you can only do the spider thing for a minute, so we'll say that your your connection to the spider is probably severed by now. Okay, so I see this, and I'm just like, what? You? I'm gonna go over and start moving rocks by hand, and uh, I'm gonna look at Micah and the imp whose name, what I heard, I can't repeat on Twitch. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yeah. I'm just going to say, uh, can we get some help? I'm going to give... Um... Are you talking to, to him, or are you talking... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm talking to Micah and him. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm going to give Micah, like, a sisterly what? glare. He pulls out... <laughs> He just like whips out an apple out of nowhere and he starts eating and he's like, ah, hey, I'm not here to help you. I, uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I gotta talk real quick. <laughs> I turn back okay. and start moving rocks because our friend's down there. Yeah, I'm just going to keep helping. Okay. Uh, Micah, what are you doing? Oh, uh, the work so we go. I'm gonna pull that red coin out and ask him what are these for oh you know it's part of your your, your deal there i don't know I you know, but, but you're the one who signed are, the contract are they money it's uh you know redeem one for one conversation kind of thing got it got it got it. i get it so i have two of these now right yeah well, you, yeah you didn't use the first one yet i kind of thought oh. you'd use it by now kind of weird whatever then he takes a bite out of his apple. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you here and I'm gonna go help them dig our friend out. Um Are you hanging out or are you gonna leave? Hey look, you know, plane of travel's uh kinda stressful, alright? I'm just gonna sit here for a minute if you don't mind. No problem. Do your thing. I'm just gonna go help dig. Uh you chill out. We're good. Alright. Sounds good. And he just leans back. He puts his hands behind his, the back of his head. And he's like kicking his, his front foot like he's listening to music or something. Just kind of relaxing. All right. I'm going to go start helping to move rock. Okay. Is he, is he still eating an apple? Yep. I'm going to ray of frost the apple. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the hell, man? You could help. I'm tired. And plus, it's not my friend down there. Better off to me if he doesn't make it. Can I thorn whip the apple out of his hand now? <laughs> I am going to insist that everybody stop antagonizing the imp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we focus on the rocks. <laughs> um. Well, 
it's up to you, uh, Motion, if you want to, I'm sorry, Maddie, if you want to uh, listen to Micah or still Thorn with the apple. I will turn around and keep digging. Okay. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm just going to glare at the imp and shake my head and keep digging too. Okay. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, um, Micah, who the, f who is this guy? <laughs> It's just a, it's, it's a guy that I, I know, but we should, we should really focus on Wanza and getting him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to talk about this later. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> later. Yeah, we'll talk later. Speaking of. I saw him at the farm. Can I just say that Powder Hero's pose is like perfect for this? Just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yep, I'm waiting. <laughs> Um, all right. So, so Micah, what are you doing here? We're just, we're digging. All right. <sighs> Moving around. Yep. So, Whatever we can get that's small enough so that Maddie can get to the big stuff. All right. So as you're doing that, uh, the imp just kind of relaxing, like after he, he's done glaring at you for freezing his apple, he just <sighs> blows some fire on it and all the ice melts off and then he shakes the apple and goes back to eating it. Um, so after about you know, 15 more minutes or so, you guys are digging. Uh, Maddie is like moving earth and you end up finding Mazzarello buried under the rocks. Um, but uncovering him, you find out that he's pretty bad. Like he is in bad shape. Um, there's no sign of Grim, uh, Grimbeard. Um, who is a ghost, so kind of probably expected. But uh, Wanza is, like, battered. He's covered in, like, dust. Um, and he's actually missing an arm, and one of his horns is, like, smashed off. Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh, I am... Is, is he unconscious right now? Oh, yeah, he's unconscious. I do not remember if I have potions or not, and they're not showing up in my inventory. You have should have some. I, actually, you guys used a bunch, so you might not have any left. Yeah, but that's good. I have one that I can eat. Okay. So, yeah, Micah has one. Mozzarella, you don't have any left. But you do have rations. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm assuming he's unconscious. Yeah, just stick like a pork leg in his mouth or something. Do I need to pre-chew it for him? Yeah, you gotta like... Do, like a baby bird. Just, just uh, lift it under his nose. He'll wake up <laughs> from his mouth. I am gonna dry that. I'm gonna take out a, a, a <laughs> like a goat or whatever the hell I got and hold it under his nose and see uh, if he comes to. He does not. That was worth a shot. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use my healing potion. Alright. So you give him a healing Wait. potion... Wait. Uh, Waiting. Let me try this. Well, I uh, maybe not. Just do the potion, because I don't want to. I don't want to waste time. He could die. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So you do the healing potion, um, and he instantly wakes up. So Wanza, you're back. Bye. Uh, but you're you are missing an arm. Uh, yeah. There is like a stump there. You may or may not notice this yet, so you can role play that how you want. But one of your horns is broken off, and one of your arms is missing. Um, and also, your left hand doesn't seem to work. So, I'm sorry, your right arm is missing. Your left hand doesn't seem to work. Uh, 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 where am I? Huh? Oh, hey, hey. You Good time time for breakfast, yeah? Uh, yeah. And I hand you know him what? my ration. I think mozzarella has a leg of goat for you. you here, here, uh, here, uh, I go to here. try to grab it, and obviously I can't. And kind of just stare at my... Uh, well, I stare at the fact that I'm missing my dominant hand, my right arm, I guess you said? Yep. And just kind of stare. Confused. Uh, 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 then I start kind of like looking around 
Just trying to like figure out where it went. Yeah, Confused. that's a that's a good idea. Maybe it's still in there, and we can get it. And we can you, uh, stick it back trick? on. Play. Confused. It is in there, but it's just like a smashed puddle. It's just meat. Oh, no. uh, I, oh, geez. Arm. I'm looking at like arm, arm. Arm. Seems like uh, seems like your friend there has been disarmed. <laughs> now I'm gonna uh, use this one. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, joke, joke. Uh, uh. Just it's a um, little bit of dark humor. It's it's fine. That's our friend. Is he so, bleeding uh, really bad? I, I go to try to no. reach for uh, the the goat leg, I guess, with the uh, my other hand, my arm, and I guess I'm missing a hand. <laughs> Your hand is there, but it's crippled. Oh, okay. This uh, doesn't work. Um, I, I, I just hold it up to his mouth for him. Man. Uh, so, Maddie, you are thorn whipping the imp? <laughs> yep. All right, go ahead and roll. I am just going to put my face in my hands and be like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Seven. All right. So you thorn whip out of nowhere. And um, you know what? Go ahead and roll advantage on that, actually. Okay. So you roll, uh, or you roll. You, you turn and you just like thorn whip near his head. And it doesn't quite get him. He, he like, he's like, whoa. Okay. Um, he backs up out of the way a little bit. Uh, but the thorn whip like cracks right near his head and he looks at you and he says all right all right sorry jeez no need to be Perfect. rude <laughs> you don't need to be rude i just i'm going to need everybody to calm down um, everyone rude you're this guy is this guy's a jerk Not my nice. god it's like i i, I all right I get it. I I can tell when I'm not wanted in some place. All right, I'll get out of your way. You hey, guys, good luck with your arm situation. Eh? I'll can you dumb, magic dumb, him a new arm? <laughs> and then pff, he's gone. I, just, I hate I hate, hate that imp. I don't think he's gonna help. He's not very nice. He dumb, needed. Dumb, he dumb, wasn't dumb, helped. Dumb, 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 dumb. I'm sorry that <laughs> I lost my temper, but. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> Our friend doesn't have an arm, and he's in shock. <laughs> he's very hungry. I'm still very just holding it up. I'm, I'm, I, I toss a bone away and pull another one of my rations out for him. <laughs> I love that you guys are just arguing well, over this, this, this guy. guy. <laughs> he wasn't helping before we thorn whipped him. <laughs> it was at least worth asking. Um, I didn't even hit him. I'm I'm sorry. I just she hit him a you little. Totally bit. missed on purpose. That's right? our friend. Yeah, I did. No friend. Purpose. All right, Monza, can you walk? Oh yes, I'll attempt to stand. Do I need a roll to stand? Uh, no, you can just stand. It's fine. Right. So I clumsily stand. Okay. Probably banging into a wall my way up. Can he standing. walk? This is good. This is good. It once I, I'm gonna ask Wanza. Hey, hey, bud. Hey. Um, hey, hey. I don't. I don't want to sound racist. Oh, no. You look like. Uh, you might have some reptilian DNA. Is that arm going to grow back or do we have a problem? <laughs> no clue. Okay. All right. Good. I'll, only one. Okay. All right. As I try to like point to myself, then I look at the missing arm, then I look back at my hand and I like flimsily slap my arm against myself, trying to point. This is great. Uh, maybe we should find like a healer somewhere. Maybe there's a yeah. town. Yeah. If you can walk, I think we need to get moving. <laughs> we need to get you to uh, a healer. Yes, I'm with. I am with Micah. Yeah. 
Two healer. Uh, I'm sad uh, about Grimbeard, but I don't know how we find a ghost in the rubble. Oh, dwarf. I think I, unfortunately, I think he's gone. Uh, the imp dude kind of mentioned that they they got a lot of the souls, you know, influx. So maybe we should just move. I'm gonna um take a second because I'm gonna kind of go and tell everyone like um mace shiny and start looking around for my mace oh <laughs> the oh no you might need that. Uh, uh, maybe do we see it anywhere maybe lose jesse um sorry i was looking at the the stream i, I was just letting you guys talk um you do not see the mace immediately. So we're going to dig around a little bit. We're I'm going to sit Mwanza down. I'm going to put we're going to put Rave on Mwanza's head. Mm -hmm. And uh I'm just going to like I, I don't know. Do I tie a feet bag around him? Is that insensitive? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's fine. Went to fine. Sleep. I think he's okay. We'll just, oh, we'll just leave him. Right, 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 right. Let's go look for his mate. <laughs> Back to digging. All right. Yeah, let's look for this mace. Oh, boy. All right. So you guys, you dig a little bit more and you basically uncover the area around Wanza where it would be um, probable that the weapon would be. Um, and you do find it, but it is in pieces. Oh. But if we brought it to a blacksmith, could it be salvaged? Like, is it worth Probably. It? All right, let's grab all these pieces. Okay. Um, and it's worth noting that Mwanza, when you... Uh, well, no, never mind. You can't, you can't pick it up. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up and uh, I'm gonna use um, I think I still have a little bit of rope um, I'm gonna cut off a little bit and tie all the pieces like bundle them together and then I'm gonna put them in his big old bag alright or wait no was that his Diablo character that had the big old bag uh, yes it was I do have I'll, a bag is it I'm still gonna, serviceable that's the question uh, yeah, your bag is fine. I'm going right. to bundle them up for him and put all the pieces into his bag. Okay. I'm going to... Your shield is okay, also. Um, your hand uh, was was kind of crippled by a rock, but the shield is serviceable. It's dinged up, but it's serviceable. All right. I don't have any... Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Okay, Mending. so is there like a town or something that we would know of close by to take him to? We're You're still to stuck out. underground. You're trying to get out. And wow. the only way that you knew of to get out was to follow um, the path that Grimbeard was taking you on, which was out of here. And then he had mentioned that there is a, a kind of a a winding trail that'll take you up to the surface. Um, so if you just keep following the path out in front of, cause this is the main trade entrance of the city. Um, it is not a long trail, but it is kind of like a windy trail up through the, the mountain or through the, you know, the, the cave, uh, up to the surface. Oh, okay. Are you guys good with just going along the trail? Yeah. If yeah. he can walk. I hope. Mwanza is hurt, but can walk. Um, and and Mwanza, you told me that you strap your shield to your arm so you can still use the shield, uh, just not your hand or your right arm. All right. All right. So you set out from the area in front of the gate. Um, and you start heading up this path, and it winds and bends through this big cavernous tunnel. Um, you could tell that at, at one point in its history, 
this was used extensively by like lots of people like you could fit a lot of people in here it's um it would be easy to bring a like a, a caravan down here uh so it makes sense knowing that it was a you know trade entrance um so anyway after a little bit you get to a point where it opens up substantially and there's a large open room but you hear some footprints or well you hear footprints here you hear uh footsteps is the, the word i was looking for uh footprints here the footprints actually don't make any noise i hear footprints <laughs> quiet Did you smell that uh, are they like coming from behind us in front of us they're in front of you uh, they are on the path that you're walking. We don't see anything yet, though. Is, is no. this a dark path? Is um, it it is, no, this is a very dark cave. So you only have the torches that you have lit uh, or your dark vision. Okay, and I can't see them yet with... Correct. Maybe, maybe um, we should move slowly, sort of off to the side, kind of sneaky-like. Yes. Snake, I'm gonna I tuck agree. in behind uh, Mozzarella. All right. So everyone, go ahead and roll a stealth check, and Wanza with disadvantage. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sneaky. <laughs> we are sneaking. We're sneaking. <laughs> We're very sneaky. 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 Um, sneaking around. The rest of us are just normal. Sneaking <laughs> around. Sneaky. Well, Mike is sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I chose to be behind Mozzarella, so. And Boulderfoot is also sneaky. Ooh. Boulderfoot, Maddie. A fault's oh. big feet, but um, oh, I'm I, <laughs> I forgot Boulderfoot was your last name. Yeah, me and I'm just like, we, you know. I get, I sing when I'm nervous. So I'm like, we're sneaking, we're sneaking around. I'm hearing sneaky. footsteps and I'm trying sneaky, to be sneaky, quiet, sneaky. but I cannot no, stop. No, sneaky, no. sneaky, 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 I can't stop it. Stop. You're going to be at the end of the line, hiding in the shadows, <laughs> not making a sound. All right. Sneaky. So when the patrol uh, circles back around and looks at all of you. They don't see Micah, but they see the rest of you. And you see a large red humanoid figure in armor, like very kind of dingy armor. Um, a few goblinoids and a larger version of the, the first guy who is also clad in slightly less dingy armor. And he addresses you all and he says, Friends! Oh. Uh, wasn't expecting anything of your type around here. Where, what are you things? I start hitting uh, Mazzarello with my shield and just kind of, Friend! Friend! We're just normal people we're just innocent normal people um and we are lost and we're trying to get back to the surface oh. to the big cave to the to the to the big bright cave trying to get back to the surface yeah <clears throat> right yeah. it'd be real it'd be really cool of you if you didn't actively uh, try to stop us from doing that. Hmm. Guys. And uh, we're just trying to get by. We're just. Help our friend. He's missing an arm, man. What is uh, a group of surface folks doing down in the caves here? Well, we it didn't. We didn't really choose to be here. We're just—it's a long story, um, and I don't think we really have the time to tell you right now. But we can tell you later if we want to. If you just let us go, it's fine. Uh, 
Science guy, zoom zoom, portal. Boom. What Friendly is... goblins, mean goblins. What is city. wrong with this one? Ghost. Run. We had a big I woke up. Accident. Yummy food. Yeah, he's. He. Honestly, this is not much worse than he normally is, oh, but it is. Arm worse. gone. It is a, a bit worse than he normally is. Um, yeah, there was a cave in. Hand broken. Broke his hand, lost his arm. We're trying to get him some healing. Mm. But he's totally still a formidable fighter, if that. Just so you know. Shh. Roar! I don't want them to think that we're like. Vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to fight. We don't need to fight. I don't, don't want to fight either. I'm going to, like, puppy dog eye at him. Just... <laughs> okay. Uh, Micah, I need you to roll a perception check. All right. Voice. Uh, follow up to that. I need you to roll an athletics check. <laughs> okay. This is fun. <laughs> oh my I'm God. Fun. Can I have your dice? <laughs> wow. Do something for me. <laughs> uh, all right. That is a good roll. You got um, any other rolls? What a <laughs> nope. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so. The guys that are talking to you, um, they continue and they say, hmm, yes, he, uh, he definitely doesn't look very good. You guys, you guys look like you've had a bit of a rough time in here. Yeah, maybe we'll let you go, but, uh, and... Maddie, Mozzarello, and Mwanza with disadvantage, please roll an insight check um and he says that and he says you might might be worth having you back to our camp for uh for some dinner dinner that'd be really nice do you guys like to eat um and as uh. as you say that you hear micah get like you hear like a scuffle in the back and you look around and Micah is like in a chokehold from another one of these larger goblinoid figures. Thought we were gonna leave. Well, we needed to find dinner and I think we did. Okay. Oh, no, dinner is me. Oh. <laughs> Goblins make good dinner. Go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, initiative. Can you unpause the game? No. Hang on. Should I be rolling with <laughs> I'm moving to the scene, and then I will unpause the game. <laughs> Should I roll with disadvantage? Uh, no, you can roll normal initiative. Huh. Oh, it would help if there Once was a, a map here. Can I just not even see the map? Hang on, I gotta reload, I think, because there is legitimately no map on my screen. ruh -ro. It says Ruh -ro. question mark, question mark, question mark for me. That's what it's supposed to say. I mean, I didn't really know what to call it. You're just in the middle of a cave. <laughs> oh. All right. I kind of want to know, what did I have to roll to avoid this? Because my roll- it was, it was a contested roll. Um, and you actually rolled the same, since you're asking, and he had a higher bonus. Uh, all right, so I'm going to put Maddie there, and we'll put Mozzarella there, and we'll put Micah over here. Of course, Micah can see the whole screen. <laughs> I think. No, not the whole thing. Um, a yes, <laughs> a lot of it. Um, and then I think it's because this is an 8K image. That's probably why it's taking forever to load. And Mwanza is like here. Right. 
I feel like 8k is four more k's, probably more than four more k's than we really need. Probably. All right, so this is what you guys see, and I'm gonna just open it up so the entire map is visible. I also see nothing. Yeah, there, there we, go. we go. All right, this is. These are the. These are the. I'm guessing these are the mean goblins. Yes. I um, feel like they told us something about these guys, and I have forgotten because it's been several weeks. <laughs> So these well, are the, the Nilbogs. Nilbogs. Which I said as a joke because Stevie said it as a joke. And then I was like, this will be funny. We're just going to run with it. Apparently it's a thing. That makes sense. These are actually Nilbogs. So. All right. Yeah. It's fine. Um, okay. So we need some combat music. And then we can roll initiative. Um, oh boy. We didn't like have a rest or anything in between then and now, right? Sure didn't. <laughs> cool. <laughs> There's Stevie. <laughs> yes, and the uh so the big nilbogs are nilbog boss. <laughs> because that's hobgoblin spelled backwards. Oh god. <laughs> um There we go. Woo! All the dice. Okay. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take a good nap again. All right, so Nilbog uh, one gets to go first. And this Nilbog is gonna run over to Mwanza. And seeing an easy target in Mwanza is going to attempt to grapple. Mwanza, roll a grapple check. Uh, or an athletics check with disadvantage. Okay. So this little Nilbog dude jumps up on you and he starts like roping you up and he's like, ha ha ha! Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> uh, that's his turn. Bye. Maddie, you're up. Face my reaction. Oh, you can. Came into my space. How come I don't have... Now, you can only use your reaction once per round, so if you want to use it now, you can use it on that one, but you can't use, uh, you can't use it again until um, the next round. So, just throwing that out there. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is this just eating out of a feed bag? <laughs> <laughs> Roped um, up, being like dragged by a tiny goblin. Chill touch on the one that came over to Monza. Okay. Funny. Oh, that's a hit. All right. Um. So, the. The creepy, icy hand of Chill Touch just kind of comes up from underneath the, the, the Nilbog and grabs it from the stomach. And it, like, starts to pull it away. Uh, and there's this, like, little tug of war between the Nilbog and the Mwanza. Um, the Nilbog still maintains a hold on the rope um, and holds on to Mwanza. Mwanza's just being, like, jerked around all over the place and is still uh. just eating out of this feed bag of, like, mutton leg. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn, Maddie? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, Micah, you're up. You are grappled, so. Okay. So I want to take one of my short swords and try to stab it into the guy behind. All right. That does not hit. <laughs> okay. That, uh. You can make another attack with disadvantage because you didn't move or anything on your turn. Okay, then I want to try to do the same thing, but with disadvantage. Okay. Prospects are grim. It, I mean, honestly, better with the disadvantage, but still didn't. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Um, oh, also, Maddie only had temporary hit points, and those are gone now. Uh oh. So we are at <laughs> Maddie has one hit point currently. That's why I asked. Yep. <laughs> We're uh. I was like, how are you at 11 and you're death? And how are you at 11? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. All right. We're fine. It's fine. So the one that has Micah is going to attempt to bash you in the head with the back of its weapon. Um, it's not going to hit, though. All right. That's its turn. It's whole turn. Uh, next up is the bigger one, the leader, and he's going to run up and he is going to attempt to knock out Mazzarello. Um, and he will hit you and he's going to hit you for eight points of damage. So good. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So great. Uh, he says, sorry. Oh, good. Yeah. Next one's going to come up and attack you as well, and he's going to miss. Uh, all right. This one is going to go to... How far can he go? He could only go to here. Um, and then this one's also going to go... There. All right. So that is their turn. Mwanza, you're up, and then Mazzarello. I'm going to uh, headbutt the guy in front of me. All right, go for it. What do I need to roll? Uh, just roll an attack roll. Like, roll like you're rolling with your weapon, but obviously the damage is going to be a little modified. That's a hit. All right, so... Um, you, as he's like pulling the chain, trying to fight with this icy hand that's pulling him off of you, as he like regains his composure and comes back over to you and you're just munching on your, your leg, you go <laughs> and like just smash him right in the head and he dies. I win and headbutt. <laughs> Mozzarella. Uh... Well, you know what's real great is I don't have any spell slots left. Do you have any sorcerer points? I have one sorcerer points and it takes two. Oh no. <laughs> really I really thought we were outside of the cave because it sounded like we were outside of the cave. I would have suggested a rest. Oops. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I am going oh. to use Ray of Frost because it's all I got. All right. On um, the big uh, guy or the littler the, guy? The big guy. All right. That one. I would like to use one of my uh, inspirations. Go for it. <laughs> That'll hit. Okay. Four damage. All right. Sweet. Okay. I also bonus action shield of faith on myself. Okay. So my AC is 20 now. Cool. Um, and I don't think I have any bonus actions. Uh, I am actually no. They're going to take an attack of opportunity. I'm. One, I think that was my last spell too. I guess I'm done. Okay, we're going back to the top of the order with Maddie, but I do want to remind you before we do that. Technically, Maddie, you could use your um, your thing when either of those two hob nil nil bog hob bobs come hob <laughs> into Mozzarella. Because you didn't use it at the beginning. So if you'd like to use it now, you may do so. Yeah. Um, so do I need to use a reaction before a bonus action? 
You need... Well, that reaction would go on the last turn. Once it's your turn, then it's the second turn. Because you're at the absolute top of the order. Oh. So I'm letting... Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm letting you retroactively use the ability from last turn because you were holding it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so they deal 1d4 in a chronic damage to creature because you wouldn't move the space when you feed you start to turn there. Um, okay. So con save 14. Um, fail, pass, fail. All right, so this guy passed and these two failed. Those two will take two damage. Okay. Um, and then the other one doesn't take anything, right? If it passed? Yeah, he passed, yeah. Okay. So now it's your actual turn. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go for the, this dude. Okay. With uh, Thorn. Thorn whip? Touch. Chill no. touch? Thorn touch? Yeah. Yeah. Chill whip. <laughs> that will not hit. All right. Um, I do have a bonus action. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my symbiotic energy, mm -hmm. which gives me 12 temporary hit points. Okay. I think that's... Um, and then it does right. double damage for my halo of spores. And if I do a melee, it gives me extra... Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, now, um, your Halo of Spores says that uh, you can use reaction to deal damage to one creature you can see when it moves into a space uh, within 10 feet or starts its turn there. So, I guess you would use that on another creature's turn when they start their turn? Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm just reading this now. Apparently, it only affects one creature. I'm just realizing that, too. <laughs> okay. Can we keep it on this guy? And uh, yes, we'll we'll do it that way for the rest of this fight. And then going forward, we'll cool. use it the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess technically, I mean, is it it's one creature per their turn? So um, you can turn? only use it once, though, per round. So. Okay. So, because you only have one reaction. Got it. Okay. So, now that it's... Well, your turn's over, right? Yeah. So, we're going to go to Micah, and then you can tell me when a creature starts. If they're within 10 feet of you, you can use it then. Okay. Micah, you're up. Okay. I am going to try to do the same thing I did last time. Okay. Well, that went better. Step, step, step. Okay. Six. All right. So that hits for six. And then you can do it again if you want with disadvantage because you didn't move. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, that just missed. Oh. Rude. Okay. Yeah. Um... Wait, no, it didn't because I forgot to adjust their AC properly. So it did actually hit. Uh -huh. Step, step again. <laughs> Five. Okay. Uh, so you just stab both of your weapons into him from behind you. Um, and he's like howling in pain at this point. And like he starts to loosen his grip on you. He still has a grip, but it's very loose. Um, it is now his turn. So he is going to try to knock you out again. And he's going to hit you for six. Okay. Oof. All right. Uh, next up is this guy. Motion, do you want to use your halo of spores on him? Uh, yeah. Okay. He rolled a... He 
He rolled a 14. Oh, okay. So... I think... It's... I'm going to say... I can't remember if it's he has to meet or exceed or exceed. I think he has to meet or exceed. But since I can't remember... I think it would be meet. I think it is, but since I don't remember, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to uh, say that it works. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah, I don't want to look it up, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> two. All right, so he's going to take two damage. Well, actually, he's going to take four, right? Because it does double because you use that ability. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he takes four points of damage. Um, and then he's actually going to do his turn before I move on. Um, and on his turn, he's going to, uh, well, he's going to try to finish knocking out Mozzarella is what he's going to do. Um, and he is, mm, he's going to hit, he's going to do, he's going to do three points of damage. Hobgoblin, or I'm sorry, Nilbog Bow. Nope. No Bog Bow. No Bog Bow. Um, he's going to try to sneak around, knowing that Maddie is like blasting uh, toxic halo or toxic <laughs> spores everywhere and try to knock uh, try to knock Maddie out of the game. Uh, Maddie, you are gonna take three points of bludgeoning damage. Which is Hopefully. It's okay. You weren't. You're not at one HP anymore. Uh, the the other one down by Mwanza is going to attempt to grapple you. Um, Mwanza, I don't think you can possibly fail. So don't even bother rolling. And it is now your turn. All right. So he didn't grapple me. No. Um, I don't think it's physically possible for you to roll lower than he did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna waste your time. So I'm going to grab him by the shirt cuff and I'm going to headbutt him. Okay. Oof. Oof. All right. So you grab him by the shirt cuff and you go to hand, uh, headbutt him. Um, and he just kind of like, <laughs> um, and dodges out of the way and then kind of like tries to loop some rope around it, but you shake it off. Yeah. Try again with a All disadvantage. Right. Yep. Fourteen. That will hit. And it was how much damage? Um, it's one d four. The headbutt. One d four plus three. All right. Six damage. Okay. Uh, so he's like bleeding profusely from his head now. Mazrello, you're up. I look him in the eyes and go. I win headbutt. <laughs> uh, I am going to. Um, hang on a second. I don't know how much damage this does. How do I see my proficiency to know? Um, it should pop up on your inventory. I think if you click on dagger, maybe not. I don't actually know. Um, well, it says I have a proficiency plus two above my initiative. Is that so for it would anything be two, I think plus your, um, I'm not actually sure how it works for a sorcerer because normally you would get like your proficiency bonus plus um, like dex modifier or something. I don't know if that works the same with a sorcerer. So it would likely be a plus four. Okay. But it should calculate that if you roll the attack. I'm going to try and stab this guy with my dagger. Okay. There you go. Plus four. All right. Four damage. Okay. Uh Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you did four points of damage. So he's looking pretty rough right now. That's my turn. 
Do you actually see the numbers coming off when I like hurt them? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I didn't catch it, but I did see it. Um, I am completely like changing the math on those based on what you're seeing. If you're wondering why the numbers are different than what you're saying, because I didn't scale the hit points the way I wanted to. So just in case you're wondering why the numbers are completely odd and I'm like randomly adding things. It's totally fine. <laughs> All right. That is my turn. All right. So on to the one that is south of Mwanza. It's going to move up and it's seeing that you bashed the other one's head. It's going to try to uh, grapple you and go ahead and roll a athletics check with disadvantage because you're still hobbly. Love you it. are grappled by this one. So the other one kind of struggles, but this one comes in, takes advantage of the situation, ropes you up. Um, and there you go. You are grappled. That is his turn. He likes headbutts too. <laughs> Matty, you're up. Okay. Uh, um, I don't have a reaction, right? Cause... Um, you, you don't have a reaction yet. Well, you, you can do one on this round now. This is the start of a new round. Okay. So you'll get another one. Cool. Um, I'm going to use ice knife on the, the big dude. Up top. Okay. Uh, hold on. Nine. All right. Uh, so that is going to. Well, wait a minute. So hit or miss, it's still going to explode. And yeah. The, okay. okay. So that doesn't that doesn't hit directly, but the explosion will still hit. Okay. Two D six cold. What? Two oh two D six cold. Yeah. Um now are you gonna put it like you could put it here, for example, and hit both of them. I could with the explode. Yeah. Okay. We'll see that. Okay. Uh the bottom one also failed. Oh no, he he passed, so he's gonna take half, right? Um, no. Okay. So he takes nothing if he passes, yeah, so, but the, the so the, the boss guy passed the other one failed. So okay. that one will take the damage. Okay. Uh, so that one, the ice knife explodes between the two and like shards of it go everywhere, sticking into the backs of these two guys. The, the one that is kind of the leader figure, his armor deflects most of the ice shards. But the other one, some of the ice shards like shoot up under the plates of his armor and you just see blood like pouring on the back of his suit as he collapses onto the ground. Disgusting. <laughs> Austin. Disgusting. Good riddance. Austin. Anything else you want to do on your turn? <laughs> She's going to gag and then move on. Okay. <laughs> Micah, you're up. <laughs> All right, I am still going to try to stab him with short swords. Heavy stab. Nice. That will hit. Eight damage. Eight damage. You are ungrappled. No. So you slide the, the short sword up under the plates of his armor. And similarly, he starts to just bleed everywhere and fall, collapse onto the ground, and he is dead. I couldn't tell. Uh, all right. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, if I haven't moved, can I try to like hit this guy with an arrow? Um, you could swap to your bow, but that would take a full action. Okay. Never mind. I'm done. Okay. 
So then in that case, uh, we will go to the leader um, and he's going to look at the other two goblins. He's going to say, all right, we got to get out of here. These guys are a lot tougher than I thought they were. Um, and he's going to disengage and he's going to start running. Now he started his turn in Maddie's. Uh, he did. So could she halo spores him before he runs? And then she you can could. stab him in the back as he runs. She could. Yeah. Do I get a, a, a you could attack uh, no because he disengaged. Uh, okay. But the halo of spores is not affected by the disengage. So, uh, Constitution he passed. Dang. Oh wait 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 hang on, Ooh, I thought it was ten. Uh, he's no he did pass. He got a fifteen. All right, so he's gonna run to there. Um, the other two are also going to pursue him immediately. I attempt to hold on to the one that was grappling me. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, what am I rolling for? We're rolling a grapple. You're rolling a reverse grapple. Yeah, but what test? Just grab, oh, athletics. 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 Yep. Disadvantage or normal? That would be, uh, let's we'll go with normal. Because he, no, yeah, because he had me. Yeah, he had you wrapped up. So you're just kind of like keeping him wrapped up. Uh, yeah, you keep him. <laughs> no headbutt. <laughs> and I pull him back. You can make a free headbutt against him right now. Oh, nice. Because, well, I mean, you are, he's, he's trying to flee your space. So it's an attack of opportunity, really. Yeah, 13. I will hit. Oh, nice. Yeah. So five. Uh, well, actually, he's dead. So you just headbutt him in the back of the head, and he goes, and he falls dead. But the other two are, are have kind of gotten away a little bit over there. Um, that's the end of that one's turn. The other nail bog, um, he's like darting. He's just, he's going. Uh... Wanza. Uh -huh. Arrow pew pew. Well, it's your turn. Do you want to do anything on your turn? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. I, um, without really thinking, because I'm not clear headed, I go after this guy and try to headbutt him. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll. Oh god. 19. All right. Uh yeah, you got it. Let's see if I can get this to work right. Uh, 5 damage. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you just he's trying to run away and he's sprinting across this platform and you just come barreling up behind him and just like boom and like headbutt. land on the back of him with a headbutt. And mm -hmm. his head like cracks. And he just face plants into the ground. I think Mons is feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. Are you done with your turn? Sorry, Monza. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, done. I'm going to run up here. And then I'm going. If it'll let. Oh, hang on. I'm using the wrong tool. Whoopsie. I'm going to run over here. And then I'm going to ray of frost this guy. All right. That will uh, miss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, inspiration. Yeah, I'm gonna. Been forgetting about that. I'm gonna use it's my birthday I, inspiration. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna use inspiration and try that again. All right. That hits. All right. Not headbutt. So this ray of frost just shoots across the platform from an exhausted mozzarella who's just like beat and bruised and the goblin gets hit in the back um, and like sort of freezes in place before falling over and crashing onto the ground and breaking apart. The pieces of the goblins like slide 
across the platform to the edge over there. Oh, I'm just going to fall over. Exhausted. All right. I'm going to put my broken hand on uh, Mazzarello and cast lay hands on him. <laughs> and heal him for, uh, we'll say seven. Okay. Do you have and any points of do... lay on hands left? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really use it last session. I had 14. <laughs> so I had seven. So I'll heal him seven. Sweet. I'll make it eight, and then I'll do four and four on Maddie and Micah. All right. I can so, also do good berry. Bring up ten berries. Split them. How much is it per berry? I can't remember. One. One. So, ten split. How much is that for each of us? I can't do math. I'm sorry. If there's ten berries, that's two for each of us with two left. Okay. I will take two. Is Goodberry a cantrip or is that a spell slot? Spell slot. Okay. You said that Mwanza. See, we should not. Who all took some? I'll take three. If... Yeah, you should make sure you're you're like healed up so that when you're you're uh uh temporary hit points go away <laughs> you're fine yeah. yeah uh i wouldn't mind i'm worried about taking a short rest because there could be more of them but i don't have any spell slots left <laughs> and i'm afraid if need a rest. yeah just do we want to want rest and like actually break for like five minutes we could do that. We never take a break, so we should take that. a break. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a short rest as well. So Mwanza or, or Mozzarella is just like on the ground catching his breath. He feels a little better from the berries and and the lay's hands and uh, you know, and he's just getting his bearings. All right. Um, so who wants to go on break first? Use the right. If you don't mind, I'm gonna. So Maddie will take break first. Uh, Mozzarella, you want to go, or Powder, or Darth? I mean, I'll run off and come back. Okay. Yeah, I can wait until. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Did I not do that right? Hang on. Oh, I did not roll. All right. That was a rough start to the session, but. Uh, thank you guys for the two subs from Powder and Anonymous. Thank you. It was, uh, it was a rough start to the stream. I think I have an idea why. So I'm going to try to test it before we do it again. Um, you have a while to test now. Yeah, mm. we do. I think it has to do with the bitrate setting. Mm. Because it's mm. lower once we go to... Um, Twitch exclusive. But then again, if it's just going to restream, it shouldn't make a difference. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I've never used restream, so I have no knowledge. <laughs> I used to use it a lot. Um, and then I haven't obviously for a little bit, but I've never had an issue with it. So I feel like... <laughs> I don't know if world was that message just now. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Um, and this is kind of a, a big, I don't think we talked about this. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if we talked about this, but I was hoping that by this session, we would be YouTube partnered, but not yet. I'm still waiting for that to go through. Uh, <laughs> Whirl, you are you are funny and topical, um, but yeah. So so I was hoping that would go through by this session, but it didn't. 
So hopefully by next session, we will be YouTube partnered. Uh, so that'd be cool. I'm looking forward to that. That was a big, very cool. yeah, it was a big goal of mine. And I'm hoping that by um, creating some specific YouTube content, as well as just the streams, um, we'll actually get like ads, which would be fun. I mean, yes. you know, not if you don't want to watch ads, but. <laughs> well, I haven't watched an ad on YouTube in probably 10 years, so. Me either. <laughs> The nice I thing about that, up. though, is that we can monetize without people paying us, which is always good. Yes. But pay us. But pay us. <laughs> but, you know, yes, only, only, if, only if we're providing a service you deem worthy yes. of. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, welcome back, Powder in Motion. Uh, Cheese and Darth, do you guys want to run, take a quick break? I am going to take a a wick bio break. I will be right back. All right. Be right back. Okay. Uh, I think 500 <laughs> for like being able to sub to the YouTube channel or something now. Uh, so uh, yeah, so the difference is for ads. Yes. So at, basically everything is at 500 now. Uh, so you get and it's you know the watch hours, but um, so. You get like super chats, subscription, channel subscriptions. Um, you get like a merch shop. So like we can sell merch right underneath the YouTube videos is kind of cool because we are working on some stuff that would be cool to throw on there. Um, and then at a thousand, you get ads. Um, so you can monetize from ads and that's the big one for me that I am excited about because I would love to be able to, to get some passive income off of the channel without like it coming out of anyone's pocket. That's always been my dream. Um, and I, I'm hoping that by posting some like bespoke YouTube video content that it will, uh, help us get there. Yeah. I, what? I, I. <laughs> so I'm working on some, <laughs> I'm working on some pirate videos. Uh, no, uh, but yeah, I'm actually working on some scripts for like D and D videos. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, yes, exactly. Will that's the point. Um, and that's also what why hearing, we're we're restreaming now too. What? What I'm hearing is our next session is going to be inside Sea of Thieves. That would actually be kind of interesting. I'd be down for like a pirate. The only downside is like, it's not really a downside because our party is four people, but like the max players on a crew is four people. So like Jesse would not be in with us. I'll just like watch a video of you guys doing it and I'll narrate it. Perfect. Yeah. Yar. Um, Yar. It would be here is powder jumping off the edge like an idiot. <laughs> it would be amazing that that stream we did Monza Monza powder where we were both like taking shots the whole time we were playing. That was pretty incredible. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the plan uh, for the YouTube and stuff. So I have some ideas working on some scripts. Hopefully by the time we are back from vacation, like, you know, maybe once everyone but me goes to sleep when we're on, when we're on vacation, I'll pull up my laptop and, and work on some scripts and stuff. <laughs> Cause everyone in my family goes to bed at like by 10 at the latest. And I go to bed at like one thirty. So, you know, I got some time. Jesus, Jesus, man. Yeah. I don't know what oh, it is. Not acceptable. Well, actually, no, I did. I did figure it out, uh, figure out why I do that. Uh, apparently one of the symptoms of ADHD is like having um, the inability to go to sleep at a normal time. So, you know, it's taken me uh, years. I wish I had that symptom of ADHD. <laughs> I'll trade. It has taken me literal years to like get used to going to bed when I go to bed. I mean, I've been at my job for 15 years and I still like I go to bed at the same time and I'm pretty good at falling asleep now, but if I'm not working, I don't go to bed till ear earliest midnight. Yeah. yeah. I knocked out at yeah. 6 a.m. 
gosh. What time do you have to get up? 9.30. Wow. Right now. I fall asleep late. Usually it's 7.30. Wow. That is rough. I was like wide awake. You're just chilling. I, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how I'm functioning right now. We're, I have. <laughs> I don't know either. And I won't go to bed until like one o'clock tonight either. So it's fine. I, it's I fine. probably won't either. I have the weirdest sleep schedule. Like if I... If I get less than five hours of sleep or more than like seven hours of sleep, I am a completely non-functioning human. I feel that. My favorite theory is you naturally drift toward waking at the time you were born. Interesting. No, <laughs> no, no. I was born at like 10 a.m. If I don't have work, I'm sleeping till 2 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, was I, I wish I could do that. Ten. Also. I can either get three hours of sleep or like eighteen hours I'll, of sleep. There's I'll fall no asleep at midnight and wake up at like six a.m. Yeah. 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 That's not including waking up partway through the night to like pee a half dozen times. <laughs> so I probably operate on like two hours of sleep a night. I hope. I can sleep I for like a I'm very broken. long time. I think my record straight is twenty-eight hours. Damn. Wow. I think you was was a a <laughs> I think that was a coma. Yeah. <laughs> I had like Sometimes a really bad I just like to I like to flirt with it a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> flirt with the void and see if it flirts back. Exactly. <laughs> I like Whirl's answer. I think I, I had like a really bad flu once or something, and I slept for like almost three or four days i think but yeah the flu will do that yeah that, mm -hmm. that that was like there was a reason there it wasn't just like i slept a long time <laughs> I, just, I, can... I just died for 20 <laughs> hours <laughs> i can operate on very little sleep like i can work do my job make it through the day and stay awake the whole next day on very little sleep the problem is is i become a raging asshole <laughs> <laughs> that's fair Yep. I've um, so I work from home, so I get my totally okay work from home nap in, <laughs> and I've somehow managed to be able to get into full deep dream sleep within six minutes. Wow! So I set a six minute timer, knock out, wake up at the six minutes, look at my computer, everything's good. All right, six more minutes, knock <laughs> out, dream, back That's up, and sit, going. just going. The amazing I don't, I don't, thing is it's, like, not even actually possible, even though it definitely is. I've dreamed. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, so I'm not weird. I'm not saying you're not doing it. I'm saying from everything I've ever read or learned in, like, school about yeah. sleep, that's not possible. But <laughs> I've done that, yeah, too. So, like... We are functioning at six minutes. It's Those cool. idiots don't even 100% understand why we sleep. You don't have to listen to them. World has a good point, and as we know, that's basically just Australia. So, yeah, that makes that's sense. normal. That's, that's like fact. modern day Australia. No need to fact check, to check because it. I 100% believe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe that there are spiders the size of Godzilla in Australia. That oh, yeah. don't get world sense. started because he'll send you scary photos. No, nope. like, don't want it. <laughs> not even the spider, though. No, no, see, here he goes. He's gonna. Oh, no. Oh no! So, um, I mean, it had to do with DMs are closed. Will, yeah, I will. It'll be good. Mod. It'll be good inspiration though for some DNA type of stuff. Question is, can spiders like dig ding the diggler? <laughs> <laughs> spiders may not be able to ding the dingler, dig dung the dungler, but you should on YouTube if you're enjoying this video. How to do? Diddle the dingler, everyone. There you He's, go. Uh, Dongler is an offensive term. If you could just dingle oh, or diddle. Sorry. Dingler, the dingler. You know, every time we start talking about that. So do us a favor, dingle or the dingler. And by that, I mean, hit that sub button and come join us on Discord. This sub and Twitter, I guess, and TikTok or whatever. But, you know, YouTube and Discord, definitely. Yes. Yes. Especially so Discord. Fun me in Discord. Um, and you know who else loves to... Dingle the ding. Wait, what is it? What? 
diddle the diddle. You know who else loves to diddle the dingler? Our sponsor, the rest of the game. So, advanced G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally oh, drinking yeah, out of one of their cups. So, <laughs> I'm that now. Advanced GG. The only gaming supplement company with the balls not to sponsor me after mentioning them for like a year straight. <laughs> Don't even That's get me okay. Not that I ever That's asked okay. for them to sponsor I'm me. So it's fine. From my non-GG cup. That's okay. They're a they're a pyramid scheme anyway, so it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Are they? We're gonna say yes because they didn't sponsor you. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, they seem fine and it definitely works for me. So I think I like it anyway. <laughs> Community name established, the Dinglers. I'm sorry. It's, oh, better, than the, it's, it's better than the Diddlers. What, so. have, what have we done? <laughs> we are no longer Inns and Oddlies. We're Inns and Oddlies. I'm going to change the Twitch name. Right, we are Inns and Dinglers. Make a new logo. Inns and Dinglers. <laughs> Hey, what about Dinglers and Oddities? Uh, anyway, we have a game to finish. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Dinglers and Oddities. I oh, my it. God. <laughs> Someone put that on a t-shirt. No. <laughs> we can, no, we can be like diners, drive-ins, and dives, but it ends in Oddities and Dinglers and Diddlers. <laughs> Dungeons and Diddlers and Dinglers. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then we wonder oh, why we don't get sponsors. No, that's perfect, because then we can do one of those shirts that has, like, the and sign down the side. Yes, and it's, I mm, want that yeah. shirt, by the way. I know exactly so what you're So, Dungeons and about. Diddlers. And, I have a Hamilton one. Dungeons so, like, and Diddlers. Fur and Hamilton and Lafayette. Anyway. You should send it to me. And also, world is, our mods are cracking the whip. we got to get back to work here. <laughs> chop, okay. chop. Okay, all right. We, we rested. What are we doing? All right. Hey, ain't no dirty hippie. So you oh, get a better it's... look at the area around you. So feel free to zoom out on your map, and then we can continue. I poke uh, the bodies to see if there's anything that's shiny on them. I'm also sad to learn that apparently a short rest does not get me any spell slots back. It does oh, not, no. you know, warlock. Um. All right. So. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to continue on the path? I, I poke the bodies to see if there's anything shiny on them. Oh, yes. Um, you find, like, some really rusty, worn-down armor that was, like, not old necessarily, but just hastily crafted from, like, shrapnel that they probably looted from the dwarf city. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot. They don't have any money that you can... Uh, de determine would be like worth anything to you. Um, like they don't have like gold or silver or copper pieces or anything like that. Um, do cheese is this like a cliff? It is a cliff. What 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 are you what are you trying to say, Monza? I kick the body and go eyes. Ah yes yes I'm gonna. I I guess I'm gonna take some Nil Bogbo eyes. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe a Nilbogbo toe as well. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> moderately successfully uh, get these out, but it, not knowing the anatomy of a Nilbogbo or a Nilbog, um, you make a few uh, cutting mistakes, and they're not, like, perfect. I'm like, well, may maybe uh, F Frank will want these. <laughs> <laughs> Frank eats those? Maybe I don't know. I just I'm I I, I gotta cut parts off of things you know, we kill in case they're useful, just in case. I, you never know. I'm really tired of getting invited to dinner and not getting any dinner today. I know. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna give uh, Maddie one of my rations, and I'm like, "Do you want a feedback?" No. <laughs> so I want uh. Stew. From Jesse, the tavern. Yes. Do we see something glowing in the distance? Yes. Oh, I had thought that that was like a representation of the city we just came from. No. Uh, how tall is this cliff? Very tall. Okay. Uh, so so now that you've noticed it, I feel like I can talk about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so it's dark in here, uh, but there is a faint glow coming from over the cliff. And if you look um, over the edge, you can see that it's about Jesse, what? Jesse. what? What? Move the map so people at home can see. I did before. And then it moved well. back. Well, do it again. I'm done. Okay, every time you move, it moves it back. Should we just move over here? Is that what it is? Ah! Stop breaking oh, my, my character. map. <laughs> I would have stupidly walked over, so. I'm going to wait until you all move, and then uh, you tell me when you're done moving, so I can adjust the map. <laughs> Stop. Floating, <laughs> this is not a Looney Tune. <laughs> you weren't out of pitch. You cannot fly. We can too. <laughs> okay. So off in the distance, uh, there's a faint glow coming from a large structure that is kind of immersed in this big glowing golden bubble. Um, it casts enough light that you can like see the side of the cliff and an area down below you with just rocks and debris all around it. Um, it, it, you know what? All of you roll a perception check. Um, it's probably about 400 feet down. Um, okay. Actually, I rolled there are so many dice. I don't there. know what's going on right now. Um, I rolled a 15. Ignore okay. The performance 23. Check. Okay. So you all notice um, that this looks like probably a location where this big, like there is uh, grooves and stuff thrown everywhere from here. Um, so it is logical to assume that this is the origin of the blast that took out the dwarf city. This shiny golden city. Okay. Bottom bone. Do we, um, uh, we want to head that way? Uh, Fonza, shiny. how are you feeling? I see shiny. <laughs> he doesn't really have arms. <laughs> <laughs> We're concerned about his mental. Do we see a way down? No. Mm. This is essentially a large crater. So, if we, so is it like bowl shaped? Like if we go yes. in, we would slide, we wouldn't fall straight down? Uh, yeah, to a degree. I mean, you would not safely slide down. Okay. Goblin, come here. Goblin, goblin. They run this way. Mm, I don't know. Can I? This might be a stretch. Can I mold earth to like make steps under us? You certainly could try that. And if I fail, <laughs> I step away. <laughs> if you <laughs> fail, there could be some catastrophic consequences. No more rock Maybe the idea is just to keep following the path we were on and maybe a part will branch down into that. I like this idea. I mean, I'm not. I'm not here to tell you how to do it. Can I? You uh, can look certainly around. try to go down that way. Can I look around to see where the goblins might have been running to when they ran this way? Um, like if there's rope or something, they might have been why they were heading this way. Because like there isn't. Um, roll an insight check. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, they're probably just because of the location where you were, they're running like towards the nearest rocks. So they can try to break line of sight and get away safely. Uh, it doesn't Wait look like minute. there's any reason that they would want to go down there. The path does continue up into another tunnel kind of area. So it's not like this is the end of the, the trail or anything. Like there's no real, there's nothing in this area that you can see that they would be going down there for any reason. Maddie. Stairs are co are a complicated shape. What if you made like a slide? Because then I could create water and we could just water slide down there. Mud I could slide. do that. All right. I am very interested to see how this is going to go. I still feel like we should follow. Well, 
but <laughs> can we like do a test where it's not like going to crumble underneath our feet? Yes. Can we like just do a test over over here? Like, let's make a test slide. <laughs> we can send um Harold down. He'll go down, and then Ooh. he'll come back up. Harold. Ooh. And then I pull out my bunny. Harold. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, so other rave. So. I go over here and lean against. Are you the gonna truck. protect Harold? Or are you gonna let Harold go down the slide? <laughs> So this is a 400 foot drop, right? So your range on shape earth is not that. I don't think. All right, let's, let's just keep walking then. So, so here's, <laughs> here's my, my point. I have to concentrate very hard. You would have to <laughs> continually create the earth as you're walking over it. So it would be like a situation where like a Mario game where the earth is coming out of the wall as like a slide or steps as you're going down and then also just kind of falling away behind you. Um, so Harold would get stuck at a certain point um, no. and not able to get back up. Jesse question. I put Harold back under my hat. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, above this, what does it look like? in like the ceiling good question um it is if my character's leaning back on the rock resting is probably looking up as he does so it is a very neatly it's like a perfect dome um not blown out like the bottom it's just as if the earth kind of like formed over it. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Where dwarf when needed. Where dwarf. Where dwarf indeed, Mwanza. I say we listen to Micah and we just keep on trucking. More head goblin boblin but head bug. I, I still think we need to find Mwanza healer. Yeah, uh, you're probably right. <laughs> shiny heel? Yeah, there, shiny, shiny there heel. could there could be a whole civilization in there. Maybe we can get in there, but that's I, I don't think we can make that a priority at the moment. Let's keep so. let's um, keep looking. Okay, one thing I will mention too. It looks more like a temple. It's like a ziggurat. Not, okay, so it not like a city. Okay. All right. Healer. Uh maybe maybe we can come back to this let's yeah. carry on maybe carrying on Monta, well, you're not even going to remember that you were here don't feel like you have to move to the other end of the map I'm going to do it oh we're going uh, I don't know if we're going to make it because I'm going to do oh wait well, I, I can't where, where, uh, okay, I made it. Yeah, you there's a uh... I take one last second and just kind of squint. There was nothing, no one moving down there, was there? Take. Did they leave the area? Roll an investigation. Inspiration. No. Oh, yeah, you can roll inspiration. Big money, big money. Oh, it's so close. I don't know if it was almost a 20 on your screen, but it was teetering on the edge. On yeah, the it was not. Okay. Um, so what was your total? I don't see the total. 17. 17. Uh, you, you don't see any movement. All right. So after a long squint, I'm sure everyone tells me to move on, so I move on. Yeah. Wands are coming. I just whistle to him with another leg of lamb, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, after probably another few hours of walking, following this path leads you, well, not a couple hours, I'm sorry, probably about an hour of walking. Um, it leads you back up and you emerge into the sunlight. 
thank God. Bright. It's so bright in here. Uh, Out here, wherever. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my retinas. Oh. Never oh, thought wait. I'd be nope, sorry, wrong scene. Smell. Um. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> And out in front of you, at this place again. Uh, you you kind of like as you adjust to the light, um, you see that it's raining, and it's kind of overcast. And in front of you is this large um, castle structure. And in front of that are several carts with barrels and crates and things on them um and you hear like there's a couple guys walking around um and they're dressed in like dark clothing um you can't quite make out what they're saying and they don't see you necessarily yet i am gonna kind of sling off my backpack and okay. start trying to pull out a uh, potion. Okay. Uh, with with no use of your hands, that would be very difficult. <laughs> I know. That's why I say try to. Yep, yep, yep. Just stick your I, face in there and try to grab it with your teeth. <laughs> I'll, I'll help him rummage. Okay. Him. <laughs> All right. You're able to get a potion. So I point out the... I'm pointing at a certain one in there. It's the potion of invisibility. Ooh, okay. So, as I like, uh, drink, sneak, someone? Hmm, probably Micah. Because uh, I get very nervous and I start <laughs> to sing, and people are going to wonder where the, 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 the formless singing is coming from. <laughs> this, is, this is true. Okay, so Micah takes the potion. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. All right, so it's invisibility for one hour. All right. And anything you wear or carry is invisible with you. Okay. The effect so ends early we... if you attack or cast a spell. So make sure you cast any spells first. I, I don't if have you any can. spells to use. Use. Um. What do you guys want me to look for? Friendly. Yeah. Are they good guys or are they bad guys? Like, just come back and tell us if we need to keep going. Do they have going. dinner that they actually want uh, to invite us to? How <laughs> okay. many? Okay. One, two. We'll I see two. Scouting. In the yeah. Three. The rabbit. Yeah. Okay, I guess I will take the potion and try to sneak around and see what I can see. Okay. When she says she's in the mood for a rabbit, I cover up brave. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Okay, so you take the potion, you wander up towards the group that's talking in the front, um, and they you hear them say, um, all right, this is one of the last loads from Lakeside. Finally emptied out that cash that we had. Uh, <clears throat> where does she want it? Uh, you, you're supposed to bring these around the back. Uh, you don't know who's going to be watching the front gate. Oh, come on. We dropped it here already. We already unhooked the, the horses. No, nope. you got to move it around the back. Sorry. And so they start grumbling and like hooking the horses back up um, to the wagon. <clears throat> and the wagon itself is, like I said, it's full of crates and barrels and things like that. Um, they're giving each other these like passive aggressive looks of annoyance, but they hook it up and they bring the, the crate around. Um, right to that side door, so it's, you can see it on, on the picture here. It's like right here. Um, and they start to unload it. Um, they bring it into like a, a little bit in the back there where it's, you know, it's harder to see from the front. Um, the guard that they were talking to goes back up those stairs and like skulks back into the, the front of the building. Um, that area itself is like the doors are kind of broken and off the hinges um, that back door is kind of in an alcove too it's, it's a little harder to see um, but they start to unload the boxes and bring them in okay 
Can I, like, safely walk up and peek in this front door? Yeah, go ahead and roll a stealth check. If I'm invisible, is it with advantage? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Good thing. Oh. <laughs> uh, you don't have the quietest footsteps. Um as you walk up these stairs because the the stone is a little unsettled like it, it you know it shifts under your weight a little bit before you notice um nobody seems to to notice the noise though huh oh <laughs> sorry that was mrs powder i think yes uh okay so you walk up to the the front door and you see that there are a couple of guys dressed the same in like these dark clothes with hoods up. Um, and they're like kind of skulking off the side, just kind of chatting, keeping an eye on the door. Um, they're not really talking about anything super relevant. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Uh, I guess I can sneak around and try to look at where they're putting things in that side door. Like, not up on the side door, because I don't want them to walk into me. Mm -hmm. But just sort of to that side of the building. Okay. So you get over there. Um, and again, this, the rock is a little bit unsettled. So you try to make the least amount of noise possible. Um, you do a pretty good job of it. And you get up, like, kind of in the back. Uh, there's like a stone ledge. So you're like kind of up on that. You're holding yourself up um, in the corner as much as you can out of the way. I mean, this time you hear like a conversation about um, moving the the deep moon up here um, and the crates themselves you can you hear are full of um, Miracalia and uh, Mystic Moon Caps or in, like the barrels are full of Mystic Moon, mystic moon Caps. The crates are full of Miracalia, and you hear them talking about um, kind of restarting the operation of, like, distilling this drug here. Okay. Um, on that note, I'm going to walk back to everybody else and relay all of that information to them. Um, these dudes are not friendly. Uh, they're trying to reestablish their supply here. How far are we from town? You don't know where you are. Okay, that's why I wasn't sure if we knew or not. No. So they don't want to have dinner? I would suggest this not being a great place to stop. Yes, Unless I would. Unless we're going to fight. No, I'd agree this is a... This is, it, it, this is not good. Uh, if we can get our bearings, we are going to... We will have to come back here. Maybe we could bring uh, Mwanza's boss with us. I think I feel like uh, we're a really <laughs> long distance away from them. Considering we went through a whole cave in Dwarven City. Uh, you're probably right. Uh. <laughs> as unfortunate as that is. <laughs> Unless we really want to uh, just, you know, casually slaughter everybody inside of here. And I don't have any spells. Um, based off of the description that I was given, I'm assuming I saw at least four or five people. There, there was uh, six people that you saw, um, and likely more inside. Yeah. I think and they're they're really constantly referencing a her or a she, uh, who you get the impression is some woman that's in charge. Um, but you don't know who that is. We, I would love to take this operation out right now. Mwanza needs help. We need to get him to 100% and then we can come back. I think that's great. I think we all need a good rest. Yeah, you need some spell slots, mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think we all just need, we all need something. <laughs> I need spell slots and Wanda needs a friggin' arm. In a hand, in a right. functioning brain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all I right. Think that broken horn took a, took a little bit more with it. <laughs> well, everyone knows that Dragonborn's brains are stored in their horns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Concussion. All right. Okay. So there is a road that leads away from here. By the way, um, it's overgrown and old, and this place is surrounded by forest. Uh, but if you want to leave, you can follow, well, not, it, probably not a great idea to directly follow the road, but you can like kind of skirt along the road, uh, to find your way back out of here. I think that's probably a good idea for right now. Yeah, I think that's the right plan. Agreed. Okay. So what do you do? <laughs> We're gonna skirt the road, I think. All right. Um, skirt, skirt, skirt. So skirt. all of you roll, roll a um, survival check for me. You son of a. That was good. That. Mm. <laughs> My cat just instantly dies. <laughs> Look, it rolled to a twenty. Give it to me. <laughs> All right, so Maddie, uh, probably the best one to roll a 20 on this, actually. So you kind of, based on, you know, you have like a, a deep connection with nature. So you get a pretty good sense of where you are. Um, and you are like far northeast of, um, of Lakeside. And in fact, you're actually closer to Deadham, which is like, the logging town to a very small logging town to the north. Um, so you could either head, you can head back to Lakeside. It's going to take you uh, probably about half a day's travel to get to Deadham and like a day and a half to get to Lakeside. Okay. Um, Maddie looks around and looks at everybody and explains that, that it would, we're pretty close to a logging town that I know of. Um, Just to be clear, you guys would all know where that is um, because it's there's three main towns in the barony. Deadham um, is one of them and Lakeside is another one, obviously. Um, okay. Well, and I explained that we're close to Yeah. So, Deadham. Yeah. I'd say we make there? for Deadham. Yeah. yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wanza, we're going to assume you're good with that. You good with that? I like ham. Okay. <laughs> and I guess I'll lead the way. All right. So, um, no to the locals is bacon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going to have to head back out away from here, back towards like the main trade road that goes north. Um, it is going to take you you could travel through the night, but you could also make camp. So that's up to you guys. Um, it would be considerably more dangerous to travel through the night because you're, you know, exhausted and it's dark. Should we just long rest through the night and then pick it up? Uh, I am game for a long rest. Do we uh, have any, like, camping tools, a bedroll, anything like that. Yeah, you guys should all have that stuff. Um, you could find like a safe place up you know, find off to the side of the road uh, probably under the shelter of, you know, one of the, the mountains nearby. Um, you could find some shelter set up a, a fire and build a camp. Okay. Is it still raining? Um, it is raining, but you're able to like I said, you're able to find some shelter like under an overhang from a mountain. Uh, not a cave, but like a little bit of an inlet. Um, and you're you're able to get a long rest. I was literally just in Forge and it kicked me out just now. <laughs> uh, I am, while I'm trying to get back in, um, 
I <laughs> <am> <laughs> uh, use shape water to dry everyone off. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just so that nobody gets sick. Okay. Nice. Now, do you want to set up a watch or do you want to uh, just sleep? I realize it's a dumb question because I'm pretty much answering my own question there. <laughs> Monza and I already knocked out, so that's between Maddie and Mozzarella. I can watch for a little bit. All right. I will sleep and then I will wake up and take over for Maddie. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to get my authenticator. Um, I don't know if there's a whole lot. I'll do your long rest for you. Because I think I can just click it and then it'll do it. I'm back in. Oh, okay. I mean, one sec. Well, I'm, I'm back in Foundry. I just got to type my password in. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, I did your long rest. You got one hit die back. So you're still, you're at two or three hit die, but everything else is back. Okay, um, great. Okay, so you guys take shifts um, on your rest. You would have to sleep a minimum of six hours to get a long rest. So I'm going to assume that um, either Micah picks up a couple hours on a watch or you just sleep a little extra. But either way, it's kind of uh, early-ish morning the next day uh, at this point. And you start to pack up your camp. Um, is there anything else you want to do while you are in camp uh no momento hmm not that I can think of I mean right. I'd like to check on Mwanza's wounds before we leave Mwanza's wounds are rough he's not like bleeding out or anything um but he they've kind of like they're not sealed obviously uh they've been bandaged a little bit uh, but he is in rough shape. Mentally, though, Monza, you're feeling better now. Uh, not not 100%, but you're probably not, like, bumbling over your words as much. Okay. Uh, is that even a word? Bumbling. <laughs> bumbling? Yeah. Dingling bumbling. Dingling bumbling? Word? It's fine. We're just making up words. It's you're talking fine. better than me. I am bumbling when I'm dingling my dingler. Oh, oh no. my god. Oh no. We might get banned now. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's channel's banned. Demonetized before we were monetized. <laughs> we had a good run. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, you yeah, blah 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 blah. <laughs> All so, right, we're gonna head. So you pack everything up and you start to head back out. You head towards Lakeside. Uh, somebody do me a favor and roll a d12. Are we going towards Anybody Lakeside or, or Deadham? I'm sorry, Deadham. Do One. me a favor and roll another d12. Okay, someone else roll this time. Okay. <laughs> <Seven>. <laughs> okay, mozzarellas. It's a ten. Okay, we'll go with mozzarellas. <laughs> All right. Uh. So, um, you guys, as you're kind of heading out of this area, you're heading back towards the main road, but you're still off into the mountain range a little bit. Um, just as you are kind of getting into, there, there's like a, a small um, open area that you're heading out into in the in the forest. Um, you're still a, a good bit set back from the road, and Roll a d4 and pick here. Hang on. Uh, do, do, do. Mwanza. Lucky Mwanza. Nope. You start to feel this, like, rumbling under your feet. What do you do? You have I, uh, five seconds to give me an answer. Yeah, I, I, are we near rocks? Yes. I run to the rock and jump up and okay. tell everyone else, get on the rock. You start to run. Um, and you get about halfway to the rock when the ground explodes and a large serpentine creature with like plates all over it and scything talons is just in front of you and is chasing after you. And that's where we're going to leave this session. 
Always with Monza, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I mean, he's fine. He just doesn't have arms. It's, it's what do you need arms for? He's, he's got. He's, he's unarmed, but he's uh, he's healthy. I headbutt yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we will we will do that next session. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. Uh, that's probably good. <laughs> I totally wasn't gonna say anything about dingling and dinglers. Oh boy, <laughs> you dingling the diggler. Uh, all right. So that was that. Sorry, everybody, for all of the technical issues earlier. Um, oh, thank you, Motion. Oh. Motion is um, recommending people to raid. Oh, good, 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 good. good. Uh, one's just in follower only mode, and then the other one's like on episode four. So. Wait, are they watching? Oh, they can watch the show. That's right. Right? Who's watching the show? Huh? What? What am I missing? Yeah. Um, you're you're saying they're watching the show, right? No, no, no. They're doing a role play. Oh, oh, and oh, 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 episode four of their role play. Got it. I saw L O T R, and I thought you Sorry. meant like they're watching because it's an Amazon show, so I think you can watch it on Twitch, right? Yeah. yeah. No, they're doing the free league games. Got it. Okay. Wait, you so, can watch Amazon shows on Twitch? Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can watch Prime. Oh. Prime shows. Oh, wow. You can have a Prime party. Your I viewers just have it. to have Prime. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it'll turn off the VODs and everything. Oh, so. that's cool. I've done it. It's just, it's hard because, you know, if your followers don't have Prime, then yeah. they can't. They just kind of like sit there staring at your face. Mm. Oh no! Reacting to things. This isn't a party for poor people. <laughs> oh no! Or UK, or Australians, or. Also, I can hear my Chihuahua just, just giving Stevie the worst time right now. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um. All right. So we're gonna raid out to the person doing the Lord of the Rings things. That sounds fun. Cool. Um. Right. Let me just grab. That was uh, Guild Superior, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Let me just make sure I got that right. And then we'll, uh, we'll do yep. that. Oh, I also have to go on to Twitch. Ruh row. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can do our uh, outro thingies while you're. Yes. So, yes. let's start with that. So, um, let's go through everybody and talk about where we can find everybody. So, Mwanza, why don't you go first? I'm going to mute this tab so we don't hear. Mwanza. I'm sorry, Powder Hero. Wanza, <laughs> oh, right you, you can, can find Wanza with arms, the... with no arms in, in the world. Odds <laughs> and ins and oddities. Well, I feel like I haven't concussed myself just then. Wow. <laughs> ins and oddities, Discord, and on Twitch currently. i planning on streaming again, just debating if it's going to be on Twitch or YouTube. So I'm just figuring that out right now. Outside of that, follow me on Twitch. Or follow me, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch for now. Join us on the Discord and follow me on Twitter. What a tweet. What a tweet. Tweet. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, pigeons. To follow tweet. the bird on the board. Follow the bird of the bird. Bird's the word. The dead bird. The bird. bird. Oh, right. Thank you, Powder. Yeah. Mozzarella, where can we find you? You can find me at uh, on Twitter at unholy underscore cheese i think that's right i should know my own at but uh this is the world i live in this is the brain i inhabit uh, <laughs> so i believe it is unholy underscore cheese um on twitter uh, i tweet semi-frequently i retweet a lot you can also find me occasionally guest starring on my wife's stream uh twitch.tv slash stevie the dork uh, she typically streams Fridays, Sundays, and Tuesdays, and she does a bunch of daytime streams. And she just got a key to stream on TikTok. So Woo! she's been doing some fun little daytime yeah. streams on TikTok, uh, Stevie the Dork. So, yeah, you can see me there. Is Stevie dancing, doing the TikTok dance like all the cool kids? Oh, no. Stevie's uh, getting killed by children in Fortnite on TikTok. <laughs> You have to floss. That's the only way to be good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Got a fossil. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I am right. both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Motion, where can we find you? Uh, everywhere. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube as Motion Chickness. I'm currently obsessing over the Akatar series on my Instagram. So if y'all wanna <laughs> wait, I have to go follow. Join in for now. book stuff <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> What That's series? what I'm obsessed with. Akatar, Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh. The fa the fairy the fairy stuff. Akatar, the last guitar bender. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I I stream over on Twitch uh Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, nine thirty PM Eastern time. So I'll be there tomorrow. That's it. I should awesome. talk more about the Stormlight <laughs> Archives. Oh god, no, not right now. <laughs> Such a good series. I we'll talk about that later. Anyway, motion. Thank you, Darth. Where can we find you? Uh, I am everywhere with the same little handle. You know, Darth Rabbit five two six. Um, I have a Twitch. Haven't really been using it a whole lot lately, but you will find me in so many chats on so many channels. Um, and on TikTok for ins and oddities, I do that too. Mm -hmm. And thank you yeah. because they're good. Yes. Follow our TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Follow our Tiki Talkie. Tick -tock. Tick and don't forget to talk. ding the dongler. <laughs> On the YouTube. Ding the dingler. On the Tik Tock. Yes. Ding the tweets. On the Twitters. The tick -tock. Yeah. We're going to tweet the Diggler on. Twitter. We also have a GM named Jesse who's places. Yeah. Oh, S is, S is, S is, S is uh, yes, I'm here. I do stuff. I actually, I do <laughs> stuff now. So if you're not following, I have a new channel. Uh, it's called, I actually have, I'm going to mention that because I'm actually going to probably stream on it. Uh, so my new channel for myself specifically is uh, my name spelled backwards. S -S -E -S -S -E -J, live. Uh, somebody stole the name Essage, even though if you go on Twitch and you search for it, nothing comes up, but whatever. Not oh, somebody about it. Banned. I'm not bitter about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the partner and then I'm going to uh, make them give me the name that I wanted. So for now, yes, because they actually care about strong their arms. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. what I'm going to do anyway. So if you want to follow me, uh, my new account, you can do that. Uh, I will be streaming some stuff something eventually some at some point so you know if you want to do that that's that's the kind thing. Of, what kind of content um uh, you know uh, thank you for linking darth again cheese um so i was thinking of doing some like diablo 4 hardcore mode with like chat interaction on so you can like stop my controller or something i think that'd be fun so we'll do that at some point probably uh, but I don't want to talk about myself because I hate doing that. So we're going to move on. We're going to raid out to Guild Superior, who is playing Lord of the Rings RPG on episode four.